going on guys my name is Ben how are you guys doing today and what I have for you today in this video is about an interesting article that I read which the link will be in the description below where it mentions something about this patent that Apple got approved for back in 2010 where they can use touch ID to actually get information from their customers or from people in general and how does that work well here's the thing let's say if your phone were to get stolen and the thief happens to uh, grab the phone and puts their finger on that touch ID sensor their fingerprint gets recorded uh, to the touch ID sensor and then gets sent straight to Apple servers and then they can use uh, authorities can use that information to identify the thief uh, that they're looking for and it will be sent to investigators therefore that's how the whole chase is going to start into finding the criminals uh, so that way uh, uh, the uh, investigators can take care of it and make sure that everybody is safe out there. Now, this may be a neat technology because not only do you want to find my iPhone app, this is all happening through the Find My iPhone app, by the way, but not only that, uh, you can use Find My iPhone to track your device, you can send a pop up message saying, hey, if you see this phone, please call this number, uh, uh, you know, and let me know where my phone is at, or if no one responds, you can remotely wipe your phone as long as it's connected through the network, whether it's through cell towers or through Wi-Fi, and you have access to it, wipe it, and that's it, clean, and the thing is locked uh, uh, with the iCloud password. You did set an iCloud password on there, but, you know, not now the Touch ID sensor can be used to record uh, people's fingerprints, and information about you is going to be sent to Apple so investigators can use it to, to find who they're looking for. Now, this sounds like a great idea when it comes to catching criminals. I mean, it may sound like a good idea overall and it seems pretty neat. However, there's also a, a, a bad side to it, I guess you would say, because, you know, this Touch ID sensor is going to record everyone's information, whoever puts their finger on that fingerprint sensor and you know it's gonna record everybody and next thing you know it's gonna be like okay he's not a criminal he's all set let him go okay he's all set let him go let, let him go and all that but what hap uh, you know the strange thing I find about this is like you, you know your phone is giving in authorities information about you and while you have nothing to hide doesn't that kinda of seem like an invasion of your privacy you know, this if this is just me thinking because I'm pretty sure there's going to be arguments going on about this. Oh, this is an invasion of my privacy. Uh, why is my information being sent out automatically? I don't feel safe with my iPhone. I don't want to use it anymore. Oh, you know, I actually feel safe. So that way, if, the, if they do find a thief that took my phone, they can make the thief uh, either buy me a new phone or uh, give me back the old one, you know, about all their stuff on there. So it's like, yeah, you know. <laughs> there's a good and a bad side to this and I'm not sure what you guys think me personally I think it's a strange idea no you know we'll just have to see how it plays out what I do this personally not necessarily and you know I don't have any iPhone with a touch ID sensor right now or any iOS device with a touch ID sensor at the moment you know the uh, latest iPhone or Apple product that I have you know, other than my MacBook would be my iPhone 5. I still have that thing, and I didn't get any new iPhones ever since. Uh, you know, especially when I started using Android. Uh, uh, now, i am just been <laughs> playing with that thing, and it's amazing. But then again, you know, this patent can probably go for any phone. And me personally, I find this is a strange idea, and I personally wouldn't do this myself. But I just have to see how this plays out. And, you know, people can see this as a risk that they're going to take, you know, for their safety benefits. Who knows? So what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Also check out the description below for my social media links, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.